a history video today on World War II Wendell as we search for what's left of Bradgate's house stables. They're supposed to be Grade II listed ruins built in 1856 and right back then they cost £30,000. The man who built it was the 7th Earl of Stamford. Earl of Stamford? Yeah, like the pub, just down the road in oh, Groovy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just like the pub. Yeah, must be named after him here. I like pubs. Yeah. It's now owned by an international aggregate company. So let's go and see what sort of state it's in. This is supposed to be spectacular, Callum. Mm. Spectacular. Lead the way. Lead the way, Cal. Which way? I don't know. Well, we're trying to find these stables, but our guide is failing. On Google Earth, it's this way. But we're not going through that way. Although Ian has just spotted. Look at this ladder in that tree. I don't know how far it could go. Yeah, we're not going to dare go oh, up no, it, are we? No, it don't look safe. I would. There's big massive mushrooms in there. Yeah, look at that ladder going up there. Must be a look at. I don't know how I'll pick those. Not what we're after though. No. We're just coming to the end of a the path then. And through the trees, look at this beautiful thing that's starting to greet us. Would you look at that? Look at the coat of arms on the front of these stables. Look at that. It's like something off James Bond. So, quick jog across this field then. And we're going to have a look at the old stable block. Beautiful. Very windy day in Leicester. We apologise. I'll probably play some music. That must be the coat of arms then of the Earl of Stamford. I'm assuming that was a clock tower. And in that round bit up there, there was a clock. It's supposed to be a grade two star listed building, so the owners are supposed to look in after this. They're obviously not. So this was for his 47 horses. Through the archway. Yep, straight through. On the carriage, or on the trap. Nice. Beautiful. Look at that. Welcome to my state. So it's a big old place. Let's have a walk around the outside then. I bet they're the old vents for the stables. Lovely old building. 
proper British history just been abandoned hmm. so we're in then yes. not sure whereabouts we are but we're in what's it look like where's the front then oh there's the front so this is where there'd have been a menage then would there presumably for the horses to have a trot round I bet there was a statue or something here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Callum, what? put that armpit down, I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, I think we probably should have come uh, in winter time. Got me at. Ian is the leader. He's all fallen masonry all round us on the floor. The scaffolding was put up in 2006 and some caps were put over the brickwork. The remaining bits of roof were taken off then as well. Imagine owning this and just letting it get like this. It could be a tourist attraction, couldn't it? It could be a wedding venue if they did it right. It'd be a beautiful wedding setting if they stabilised it up. See there where half that building's fell away? <laughs> Ian thinks he's a gladiator. <laughs> well, the thing is, the lions are about to start coming running in. This is the grand entrance then. This is where the Earl would have trotted back through. Let's see if we can get into any of the buildings. Oh, what's this old feature here? Yeah, big old post there. Not a big old post there. So we're stood underneath the clock tower then now. Pointing up, you can see the scaffolding's put up to hold it all up now. Stabilise it at least. Oh, Ian just found a cellar. Ian has just found a cellar. Let's have a look inside. We'll go down there in a minute, Ian. Oh, you can see some of the old floor in here, look. There's the, um, the stairs are there. Now there's the old stairs going up the clock tower. Obviously we're not stupid enough to go up there today. Well, not all of us. <laughs> yeah, the old flooring's still down. I would assume the estate manager and people like that would have had uh, rooms here. There'd have been a vet, I'd have thought, on site. There's the old cellars then. Just be careful where you're standing now, because obviously the cellars are underneath you. Okay. What you found? Oh right, yeah. Yeah. This was the old cloak rooms then. The just discovered look. Look at that. Proper history. If we had a coat we'd hang it on it. Beautiful old window there. And another staircase. So it looks like we've just found the way down into the cellar then. And who dares me? Who dares me? You know I dare. Let's have a look. What's going to be in the Victorian cellar? I'm just going to have to get a torch out my bag. Are we going in? I'm in, mate. So, I've no idea what this was. That's an old toilet seat. There's an old toilet seat just there. See that? That round thing. So that's making me think, am I in the old toilet? If you see, there's like a bench going around the outside. Is this the old toilet block we're in? Ian, come in here and sniff this. No. Not falling for that one again, are you? You're not falling for that one again. Are you 
There's the window going up. Oh, look at this lovely arched roof on this. Look at the roofing. Look at the ceiling. Yeah, don't stand with beef behind you. That's uh, not going to end well, is it? Oh, here comes Callum, look. Health and safety. Yeah, that's an old toilet seat, that. That round one, cut out. I'll be fairly sure of that. Here comes Cal, coming out the cellar. Agile. Like that. Oh God, he's going back in. I don't know about filming beef. Shall I pan down for a minute, beef? Save your blushes. So yeah, here's the old flooring then. Look at that. I mean, that's just beautiful in itself. Ian, you coming out? Or are you staying in there? Are you going to move in there? This is Ian's new house. This is it. Here he comes, look. Again, I'll uh, save his blushes at the tight bit. Not really, I'm filming Ian. <laughs> beautiful, that was. I'm really enjoying this today. This is what World War II Wendell was set up for. Oh, this one's interesting, this room, look. There was obviously a floor in here above, because look up there. Oh, wow, a grate. Yeah, isn't that great? There's an old yeah. fireplace up there. And the link. So, yeah, there was obviously a room above us. A bit of the room below. Well, there'd be drying out rooms and things, wouldn't there? Because that's a fireplace down there, look. Yeah. So I bet when they'd come in, you know, they'd be wet from the uh, hunt or whatever they'd been doing. Your nobles. I mean, the kings of England stayed at Bradgate House. Look at that old fireplace there. You can still see the mounts by the mantle ones. One, there look. And one on the other side. Alcoves going in, look. Oh yeah, that old fireplace. Amazing. Here's an interesting little feature I've seen. This piece of fallen masonry just here, if you look on the end of it, it's carved. IV, so Roman numerals, and that's because it's a curved piece. So when it's been made, when it's been dressed, they've numbered it so they knew which order to put it in. Isn't that? Look at that. I love things like that. So way back when this was built, someone carved that into that. So it is a letter. What you got here? A door. You got a door? Yeah, a lead door. Slate? Slate, Ian. From Bragate. There's loads more slate. Sure. There's another door for you. I haven't seen anything like that before. Two doors. Hey. So what's on the other side? Dated that. 1942. Where does it say 42? Up there. Up there. Cohen says it says 1942 somewhere. Is that what, carved in? Yeah, it looks like it. It says 1942? Yeah. Ooh, show them me, show them. That's wartime. Yeah. But um, American forces were based at nearby Bradgut Park. They did a lot of training around here. So you can bet that they came and had an explore. Oh, no. no. Where is it? 82. Oh, for yeah. God's sake, 1982. So it's just graffiti. We're coming up here looking for yeah. amazing things. And Callum's found some idiot came up here in 1982 and scratched his name in the wall. Yeah. Callum, have a peer through the glory hole. Hello. <laughs> oh, there he is. What's that? Is that the brick company who made them? Yep. You've got to find a full brick then. Then you'll be able to tell where they were made. After leaving that building then, James has just come out of, he's found this, stumbled across this. What is it? We're not sure, we don't think it's scaffolding, we're going to have a quick look. I still don't know what that is. No. It's like a parking meter. Is it? <laughs> no. Sounds like you've seen a piece of wood or something, timber. It does, doesn't it? No, no, mm. is that writing? The date? No, it's not. Nine two. Nine two four seven. Not sure what that is. No. no. Anybody knows? Comment down below. Don't know what that is. Look at these Roman Greek style pillars. There would have been something absolutely spectacular above us right now. Yeah. Here's some platforms. Obviously, where some more sat ones. 
they've either fell down or been robbed. You can see someone at some point started collecting the bricks up. Yeah. Whether or not that's for a future renovation or uh, what's that gap thing? Somebody that square thing on that wall. Just looks like a chimney. That's the Is back it? of the chimney. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, it's the access for chimney. Oh, Callum's yeah. just found a brick. Well, it's pulled off that pile, and it's, it's got the, the maker on it. So Victoria Works, Humberston. Now Humberston is about six miles from here on the other side of Leicester and I'm familiar with that brickworks because I've got it on an old map. Humberston Brickworks. So we now know where these bricks were made. Brilliant Callum, well done, that's really good. Yeah. So the local, locally made. No need to bring a pack up with us today. Look at these blackberries. Everywhere you look, blackberries. Mm. I bet this is where they used to park the uh, carriages and the traps and things like that. Stunning. Beef's just showing us on the wall, look. It's a retaining ring. Probably for one of the old horses. Well, it's fine, Beef. I'll come round. Another lovely piece of floor in there. Yeah. What you found, Mr. Beef? Yeah, up to and they're grooming it. retaining ring look. Look at that. That would have been made in a blacksmith's forge, local to here. Right back when this was built, I'll bet. Well done, Beef, another good find. Boys are on fire. Can there be another one over there, though? If you want to see more videos like this, oh, Ian's found one now. Yeah, see more videos like this, comment down below. The, the bolt right through then, yeah. Is this uh, what these yeah. old drains are like? Another one there. Yeah, Ian likes things like that, don't you? Yeah. Proper old ironmongery. Oh, Cam's found another door. Oh, yeah. Another door, where are we going? Back door. Cam's found the back door. Cam, come here. Come on, come out the wind. Come here. Come here for a minute. I need you. There's a single yeah. bit there. Da, 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 da. Let's do Callum's comments. What you got for us this week, Cal? Uh, what did you have for your, for your tea last night? What did you have for your tea last night? I had uh, Chinese. Uh. Vegetable chow mein, egg fried rice and chips and prawn crackers. What did you have, Cal? I had onion rings, chips and beans. Onion rings, chips and beans and, mm -hmm. and what? That's it. Is that it? No main? No, no main. That's the start for me. That's, that's just sides. Oh, no mind. It's more so comment down below. So what's this one then, Cal? Because this ain't joined, is it? Yeah. Oh, that has, it got, has it got yeah. a door? The door's on the other side. Oh, I you can see daylight, can't you? Right, be careful then, because there's a fenced off bit here for something. So I'm assuming, yeah, there's either a hole or a dip or a... I bet this is the toilet block then. Drainage. Yeah. I bet this is... Uh, it is. There's a well. There's a well down there. Oh, we should have bought the magnets. There's a well. For the water. Well, well. Oh, I wish we'd have bought the magnets now. Oh, I don't know if you'd want to spring that water. Let's have a look then. Is it the toilet block? What's that little alcove over there? I have no idea. Right, watch your footing in here then, because if that well's under you, you could go down two, three hundred feet in one uh, fail swoop. Is there any evidence of an old toilet in here, or is it all too far gone. It's just starting to rain again in Leicester. There's definitely a big dip down there. Looks like old gas pipe to me. Could be. Could be. Oh, look at that. A nice little alcove. Beautiful. What's that building you found, lads? Is that just a wall? It's filled with water? Yeah. That's a lake there as well. Slate. Oh, it's a slate. What you got? Water. Water. Oh my goodness. It's overflowed then, isn't it? It must have got some steps going down. Looks like it. Look at this. Is that an archway? Yeah. yeah. It's arch. Do you reckon this is an ice house, Ian? I think this is an ice house. Trees look like this. Well, they, built, they used to build ice houses in the shade. Yeah, I just saw the spider. I'm thinking it's an ice house. 
the spider will go over it as well. I'll tell you what, if this is an undiscovered ice house and the Wally Wendells have just found it, this is a real, uh, yeah, real fine. That's slate, that is. Tell me. What's that cut out for? What do you think? Could it be an ice house? You know, because it's. It's domed, isn't it? It is domed, isn't it? You can't see for all this uh, rubbish ivy. But there's a beautiful old dome on this. That was obviously the way in over there, yeah. weren't it? And it's obviously dug down, and ice houses are always below. Oh no, there's, there's a big drainage pipe coming into it. I wonder what it was. I don't think it could be a septic tank or anything like that right about then. Right. Anybody know what this is? Or was? Comment down below. I mean, it's reminiscent of an air raid shelter, isn't it? You know. Obviously it's not. Yeah, comment down below. Archaeological people. Again, the shout for boys over there. Historians, oh, the boys are shouting, they're making noise. See again there where well, that's been dressed by the stonemason, yeah. chip, chip, chipping away at that slate. Yeah. Ian below me is just finding bits of pottery, look. Old bits of blue and white. Yeah, Not sure, well, that's probably a big old dinner plate, isn't it, that one, yeah. looking at it. Size of it. Uh, Saucer, that's a saucer, it? yeah. What's Callum got now then? You want beef? Yeah. What you got then? Yeah. Oh, some bottles. Hey, look, some bottles on here. So someone else must have been here at some point and collected yeah. these bottles up for us. Bottle, someone. Uh... Oh, do you think it could be like a dump there? I think it is. Oh, do you think this is the dump? Yeah. There's some in there as well. Some more pottery. Is oh, that? Yeah. Let me go in. Could it have been a kiln? <laughs> <laughs> I've got that on. I got it. Yeah. Uh, right, I'll make up for last week when the boys, boys fell over them, wasn't it? Yeah. What's your bag? I've got my bag. Yeah. I think this is an old dump Oh, I think it is. Watch out, it could not be seen. Old pottery. Bottle. Think someone's been bottle digging? Now, this is old. You can see the bubbles in the uh, in the glass. So we know it's an older one. I don't think that's very old because it's still got the label on it. And here's a little mini one look. Badly glazed look. Is that top one been broken there? Yeah, broken there. But... So there's a dump site around here somewhere then, just ready to be explored. Look at this, I'm loving today, loving it. Well, we hope you've enjoyed it then, because we certainly have. All this was just a stable block. for the Earl of Stamford. Absolutely amazing. We've loved it today. World War II Wendell. We'll see you next time. Quite literally, yeah. keeping history alive.